No, it does it, does it. You aren't still blaming me for what happened, are you, Simone? All I'm saying is, if Chad doesn't pull through, I will never speak to you again. Now, one more time, Whitney. What were you thinking about that was so damn important that now Chad's life is hanging on it? really like to know. Thanks for the update, Cleo. I'll be in to check in on Chad later. Why won't you tell me what you were so wrapped up in that now Chad could lose his life over it? Look, just back up, okay? Would you cut it out, Simone? What happened to Chad is not your sister's fault. It was an accident, pure and simple. I'm just glad that Chad was able to push Whitney out of the way so it's not her life that we are praying for this morning. He's gonna die, isn't he? I didn't say that. He's in very serious shape, but at least his vital signs were stable throughout the night. Mom, I want to go see him, okay? <laughs> no, you're not. If anyone's going to visit him, it's me. Neither one of you is going to go see him this morning. He needs to rest. But if you do go and see him this afternoon, no bickering. For his sake, if not for your own. I have to go. Grace wants me to come by this morning. Oh, I want to go. Let me go get my purse. I need to see Kay. And how about you? Oh, I'm going to check on Teresa. Thanks. Why? Is anything wrong? No, not really. It's just that she just got back from Bermuda for some job for Ethan Crane, and I haven't talked to her since she got back, so... Wow, that's some part-time job she's got there. Sort of. But, Mom, do you mind not saying anything to anyone about it? Well, Pilar knows about it, doesn't she? Yeah, of course. It's, it's not Pilar. It's, um, Luis. He hates the cranes with a passion, and he would kill Teresa if he knew that she was working for them. Maybe I should come back later. Not so fast, Whitney. Teresa was just about to explain why the crane family is suddenly presenting her with expensive hand-me-downs. Let me see the label, Luis. This dress was purchased in a store in Bermuda. See for yourself. Now do you believe me, Luis? I know for a fact that the Cranes visit Bermuda often. All right. I'm glad that you didn't throw your money away on something like that, but frankly, I don't know which is worse. That, or that you're accepting charities from the slimiest family I've ever known. Luis! Look, I know how you feel about that, Mama, but I mean it. You know, I'm not happy that Teresa is even touching something that was worn by the cranes. At least that's the closest you'll ever come to one of them. Look, hey, I'm sorry I went off on you, Teresa. Look, you know, it's, it's when it comes to the cranes, I, I see red and I think that you're involved with one of them. It's just... Hey, that's not what happened, right? Eat your breakfast before it turns to ice, huh? I will. Yeah. I deceived my son for you, Teresita. Mama, I am so sorry. But you saw how mad Luis was, and, and I didn't know what to do. What were you doing in Bermuda? And where did you get this dress? Never mind. I don't want to know. It was wonderful, Mama. Ethan and I, we had the most amazing time. I said I don't want to hear it. When are you going to realize that Ethan is going to marry Gwen Hotchkiss and not you? After the wedding? When your heart has been broken into a million pieces? ¿Por qué, Teresa? Why must you do this to yourself, hija? It's fate, Mama. It's meant to be. You're about this close to Luis signing up for a lifetime at the convent. Don't you be mad at me, too, Whitney. Everybody else is. Look, Teresa, I'm not mad. I just can't stand watching this anymore. I mean, it's like looking at a train coming down the tracks, about to derail, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Well, don't you want to hear about Bermuda? You're going to tell me anyway. Last night, it was the... 
the most incredible night of my life, Whitney. I was I was wearing this this beautiful negligee that Ethan bought for me, and and the moonlight was reflecting off the ocean, streaming into my suite. And Ethan was there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ethan was in your suite, lying next to me, holding me close, ready to make love to me. Stop! Stop! Okay, well that that part was. That was just my dream, but it, it was so real, Wit. Okay, so no one was actually in bed with you, right? Well, Ethan's father was. What? You were in bed with Julian Crane? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You were in bed with Julian Crane? Oh, it, it's it's not what you think, Wit. Oh, I hope not. Oh, it was just like really an embarrassing misunderstanding. The, the desk clerk gave Mr. Crane my room key by accident, and he didn't realize until after he came into bed with me. Ugh, unreal. But that's only part of it. I mean, he was wearing this really weird pirate getup, you know, with like a, a patch and a, and a hook and everything. <laughs> Julian Crane? Yeah. You're not making this up, are you? No, I swear. But anyway, the best part about being down there was Ethan. I mean, he tried not to be affected by how romantic that place was, but I could tell it was getting to him. You're not listening. I'm sorry, Teresa. But something happened while you were gone that I need to tell you about. Chad was in a really bad accident. What happened? Some, um, some construction scaffolding was about ready to fall. And I would have been crushed if Chad didn't push me out of the way. But it got him instead. So now he's in the hospital in critical condition. Oh my God. I'm so scared that he's gonna die, Teresa. And it'll be all because of me. You really care about him, don't you? Look, Teresa, that's not the way you think, okay? I'm just grateful to him for saving my life. That's all. You have fallen in love with Chad. Look, Teresa, I do admit that I was wrong about Chad. He's not all bad. But that doesn't mean that I'm in love with him, okay? He's, he's just a friend, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> he's a really good friend. Who I owe a great debt of gratitude for saving my life. Say what you want, Whitney, but your eyes are a dead giveaway. Oh, Teresa, I don't even want to talk about this, okay? Let's just, you know what? Tell me all about Bermuda. You better hope that Luis never finds out about that. Well, how could he? I mean, Mama's not going to say anything, and you're not going to say anything, and nobody's ever going... What? I almost forgot. Oh, uh, my laptop. I, I left it at the hotel in Bermuda, and, and my diary is on it. Whoa, your diary diary? Yeah, everything that, that I've done, that, that I've thought, that I've wished about, Ethan, is all on there. And if anyone sees it, I am so busted. I do care about you, Chad. But just as a friend, okay? That's all. Thank you.